Courtney Ferguson and welcome back to my channel. We're not, we're just going to pretend that, that, that that's, that's not there. We're going to pretend we don't see the big red and all of the mess that's back there because I know I drink a lot of pop. We know it's not healthy, but we're going to be okay with it, right? So, and do you guys like my little, oh, where is he? Oh, right there. He's my little succulent. Mm -hmm. I named him Zuko. Um, if anyone watches The Last Airbender, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and I love the fact that I still have the window open even though it's nighttime, like he's getting any type of sunlight right now. I'm such a good plant mom. But thank you guys for tuning in. Um, obviously, uh, this is a video that I am filming that since you guys haven't seen me for the last forever um but obviously just like everybody else we've got a little bit of extra time right now so <sighs> self-quarantine isn't it amazing that makes you slow down and stop when you didn't really ask for that but this is the situation we're in and we're trying to do the best for not just ourselves but for everybody else right so i thought one of the things that um is entertaining to me and may be entertaining to you guys is we are gonna go through some of my some of my my whole makeup collection um, I haven't done this before obviously I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna actually split this up into a couple different parts depending on how long everything is um, and that way it gives me time to talk to you guys about what I have what I've been enjoying what I'm not so much enjoying um, but I'll tell you guys why I don't like it all that fun stuff so enough of me talking about it let's just jump into it does anyone else wonder why every time you try to do your makeup and you've cleaned off your vanity and it looks beautiful and then you do your makeup once and it looks like a tornado's hit your room. I don't know how many times I've cleaned this over the last couple of weeks and how many times I've reorganized and it still ends up like this. We're just gonna have to be okay with it. So these are my drawers. So these are my makeup drawers. They look like Alex drawers, um, but I am uh, cheap and I was having a hard time pulling the trigger on actually buying those types of drawers. So I got these off of Amazon. They were like 89 bucks, I think, um, which of course I got something cheaper. So they do have shallower drawers. It wiggles a little bit more, um, but it works really well for my purpose. So that's what we're going with. We'll start off with our first drawer. This is basically kind of the base of your face. <laughs> base of your face. So I've got foundations, concealers, I've got my primers, and I've got my powders, okay? So disclaimer for myself to you guys is the fact that I don't have a disclaimer on why I have so much makeup because there's no reason for me to have this much makeup. I'm not a makeup artist, even though I do love doing, trying to do different looks on myself. Um, I don't, I'm not making any money off of doing YouTube videos or Instagram posts or anything like that. Um, but I just love makeup. Again, kind of like what I said earlier, maybe I didn't say this earlier. I don't even know where I'm at anymore. Um, this is my stress relief. Um, and yes, I do have a lot of makeup, but I use a lot of it and I try to go through as much as I can so stuff isn't wasted and stuff that I know I'm not going to finish, I give to friends and family um, that uses it. So um, that's kind of like my little disclaimer for why I have so much makeup. So let's just go ahead and start talking about some of the stuff we've got. So I've got the Huda Beauty um, foundation, um, super fragrant. Uh, super full coverage. Um, this is gonna sound like a dig and I promise you it's not, but everything that Huda like sends out is like, to me is always seemed like glamorous and like higher end type stuff. When I bought this, I was kind of surprised like this isn't glass, it's like plastic. So it looks fabulous, sorry, <laughs> I didn't have you guys in 
frame. Um, it looks fabulous, um, but it's a little bit lighter weight. Um, so that was interesting. I still love the foundation, but it's just an interesting little tidbit. Um, this is Elf Flawless Finish Foundation. Um, didn't really like it, but the thing is, is it's so tiny um, and it is a little bit lighter. So what I've used this for is like um, mixing with foundations. And if you can kind of tell, I'm almost finished with it. So um, here's the Wet n Wild, um, the original um, photo uh, focus foundation. Um, I use this on its by itself, but I also use this to mix with other foundations if it is too dark for me. So there is that. I do have one over here, Revlon Color Stay, the 24 hour. I got it because it said it's for combination oily skin and I was like, ah, me, but didn't really like the original, the foundation. Um, but I also had a Juvia's foundation that was way too dark for me. So I mixed that in with it and some of the Wet n Wild since I love the Wet n Wild. Sorry, my phone keeps cutting me off for some reason. Um, trying to use it right now, but um, not really enjoying it. But you know, who matters if you look good since I'm not going outside the house. <laughs> uh, um, Got the Infallible um, Fresh Wear, um, just like everybody else who very much enjoys that. I do enjoy this, um, but I will say for me, being as oily as I am, this isn't a 24 hour thing. Looks great on my skin, but I do get super oily with this unless I've got, I've got a really, really nice powder to set everything with. This, I don't feel like people talk enough about. Um, I got this a couple months back and I absolutely loved it. This is my second one. Um, and this one, I did get a little bit darker. It's the medium beige and it's just, it's such a fabulous foundation. I love the way it looks on my skin. Um, I do have, I did get the Fenty one. This, um, it's got a little bit of discoloration, but I promise you this was, we just got this. Um, my sister got it for me for my birthday. I actually had finished one up last year. Um, and it's a great foundation for me in the summer when I'm my most oily just because it's so matte. Smashbox, a studio skin full coverage. I got this on a recommendation from Tati and it is really, really full coverage. I do like it, but I have to be kind of careful because it's really thick. So you kind of have to shear it out just a little bit. Um, so it doesn't look cakey on me. So, but overall it's, it's a really, really beautiful, um, foundation. This is actually another one that I feel like not a lot of people talk about. Um, it is kind of geared toward like active, like exercise type stuff. Um, it's supposed to be a 24 hour wear, um, sweat proof, all that fun stuff. It just looks really great on my skin. And um, I, it's actually should be close to being almost out. Absolutely love this foundation, would repurchase. So I have this BB cream. For some reason, I'm like, well, there might be some days where I want light coverage and all that. I don't ever wear a BB cream. And if I want light coverage, um, I would just not wear any foundation. But for some reason, I feel like I need a BB cream. So let's let's not judge here. Um, I, same thing with the, the stick foundation. This is a ColourPop. Um, it is a little too dark for me. Obviously, you can kind of tell. <laughs> All of you are laughing and saying, Courtney, a little too dark. Listen, I know, I know, but I sit there and this is like, I put this as a base and then I mix my wet and wild on top to get a good color. So for some reason, I feel like I had to have a foundation stick um, and it was the cheaper version of it. So that's what I got. Um, I don't really like foundation sticks. Again, I'm super oily. That doesn't stay very well. It slides all that fun stuff, but I bought it, so I'm gonna use it. So um, going on to concealers. Um, this is my infallible wear, really good um, concealer. This one is a CoverGirl a True Blend Undercover um, Concealer. A lot of people, I feel like when I read or heard reviews on this compared it to like the e.l.f. like but I don't think it's it's nowhere near as thick and it's a little bit more hydrating which I actually am starting to enjoy a little bit because for some reason I get like random dry spots underneath my eyes if I don't um, prep my face really well um, before. Um, this is the 16 hour camo concealer. 
this I have taken the stopper out of it and um, it is pretty much almost used up like look at that there's like barely anything in it so like what's on there is like on the uh, brush but that tells you how thick the um, formula is because I it's looked like that for the last like week and a half and I've still been able to use this so it's just there's so much product that's just even sitting on the brush and like you can still scrape off the sides so still kind of going strong um here's the instant age rewind um I've used up a couple of this um so actually my husband had stole my last one and he uses it to cover up his pimples uh, for when he goes to work so that's where that one went so I went ahead and bought myself another one um I've got the uh, candid uh, concealer a little bit of a lighter um, coverage um, but it is a little bit more hydrating than like what the elf is so there's that I've got the bye bye under eye uh, it cosmetic concealer this I've only used like twice um, you need the tiniest bit to get like coverage like if you use too much it'll get real cakey real quick and I got a lot of fine lines up underneath my eyes and I cannot deal with that so it works really well if you use it very sparingly which is great because it's a sample size so it means it's going to last forever um, here is the NARS um, concealer. This is light 2.75. When I first got it, it was a little too dark for me. Um, so I just used it as eyeshadow base. Love it as an eyeshadow base, but now that I'm a little bit darker, I can use it up underneath my eyes and it has great coverage and it, look, it just looks great underneath my eyes. So I do really, really love this concealer. Um, now let's jump into primers. So we can start off with some of our tinier ones. This is Chameleon Milia Camellia Plus Strobe Luminizing Primer. Um, it's by Seraphine uh, Botanicals. This is from one of my Ipsy bags. Uh, this has like a tiny, tiny glow. It's not like you're highlighting to the gods, but it has a nice little glow and it's a really nice primer. I do enjoy that. Here's the or Unicorn Glow, which is a little deceiving because it's not really a glowy primer, but it's a long wear primer and it works really, really well. I really enjoy that. Here's the Milk Cooling Stick, which in all fairness, like I don't see this like the couple of times I've used this, it doesn't really elongate my wear of my base, but it feels fan. Fantastic. And I can see myself during summer when it's super hot using this a lot. So I am very, very happy about that. Here's a Varsali liquid glass. Still have not used this. Um, I don't know why I keep like not using it. I think a part of it is like you sit there and you see all these Instagram models use it and see how beautiful their makeup looks. And I just like, I'm afraid I'm going to be disappointed, but it will happen. It will happen. We will come for you. So here's the Revlon Prime Plus Mattifying and Pore Reducing. Um, I got this because it has skincare in it. So it's got salicylic acid in it, which is the main thing that I looked. It also says artichoke extract and AHA. I don't know what any of that means, but again, super duper oily. So anything mattifying and anything with salicylic acid that can help combat any type of breakouts for my me. Thank you. Mwah. Um, another one that I got because of the ingredients is the e.l.f. Plus Matte Oil Control Primer. Um, it's got tea tree oil in. I love tea tree oil and like skincare. Um, it just kind of helps um, oil control, um, which I really, really enjoy. So um, this um, I've been using for a little bit. It does work. Um, still not my favorite, even though it does have ingredients that I love. It's got a very silicone-y feel to it, um, which um, I can tell you with including these products. So this is the CoverGirl True Blend Pore Minimizing. Um, this is okay. Not my favorite. I've been trying to use it quite a bit recently um, just to try to start 
moving it out of my collection. Um, e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I do enjoy this just where I have issues with my pores, which is like basically right on the my upper cheeks, underneath my eyes, uh, right beside my nose, that stuff. Um, again, still super duper silicone-y, um, not as much as this. For some reason, this just feels like it has a slip to it. I don't really enjoy this. Um, I'm finding I don't really enjoy really silicone-y stuff. So um, this is the uh, Tarte uh, Timeless Smoothing Primer. I've used it a couple of times. Liked how it felt on my skin um, when I used it, but I'll still have to use it some more um, to really kind of figure out what I think about it. The Tatcha, I've used a, more, a little bit more than a couple of times. Um, love the smell of this. Um, even the small version feels super luxurious, uh, and it's just, it feels great on the skin. And because it being Tatcha, I, I hope that there's actually also some skin benefits to using this as well. It's not just a primer. So we'll, I really enjoy this. I understand why it's so hyped up. Uh, we'll continue to use it. Uh, one of the other ones that I have is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Again, one that a lot of people love. This is super duper sticky. It makes your base stay super duper well. I do really, really enjoy this. So I had to kind of, I like got it and then like use that much up in like three weeks. And I was like, I need to slow down because I don't want to have to keep buying this like every month because I can't stop won't stop. Um, even though I don't quite know how to say this, this is one of my absolute favorite primers. And it's weird because it's like a jelly-like texture, uh, but it is, it is absolutely fabulous. Like I can't, oh, I'm not that fancy. I can't open it with one hand. Um, but this, it just, it's got this jelly like texture. You kind of rub it in between your fingers. It kind of becomes a little bit more liquidy, watery, and it just really hydrates your face, which I feel like some people would think it's interesting with me being super oily that I really enjoy that. But because I, it feels like it hydrates my face, my face doesn't produce crazy amounts of oils that aren't supposed to be there. So really really love that one that is something I feel like it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive I got it in a ipsy bag um haven't really looked at the price to see how much it would be for me to repurchase it but that would probably be something I would be willing to repurchase all right now we are on to the powders so this will start off with our small ones this is the Ulta Beauty HD setting powder never used this I'm not sure if I ever will, in all honesty, but I, I part of it is just because I'm a little afraid of HD powders. I'm afraid I'm going to cause myself to have a lot of flashback because of how white those powders are. Um, but I was like, I feel like I wanted to have one in my um, collection, and this came in one of the Ulta like packages of like Ulta makeup that's like $20 that you really shouldn't buy because you're not going to use any of the makeup, but you do anyways because you feel like you're getting a deal. <sighs> I know. When will we ever learn? But, um, it, if I, when, no, it, it will be when, cause I will use it. Um, it should hopefully not take too long to use it up because it's such a small um, amount. So this is the Clinique. Uh, it is the, where is it? Stay Matte Universal Blotting Powder. Um, I've got a little bit of a dent in it. It is really fine. Um, it's really, really nice. It's just so tiny, it gets lost in my collection sometimes, so I'll need to finish that up. It shouldn't be too hard. I go through powders pretty quickly. Here's some more, um, like, um, not loose powders, but the other types of powders. Pressed powders. That's what the word I'm looking for. This is the Stay Matte Powder in Translucent. Uh, I, or sorry, transparent. I've already used one of these, very much enjoyed it. Went, bought another one. I will, when I do start using that, um, it'll probably go pretty quickly for me. Same thing with the All Nighter of Urban Decay. Super pretty packaging, first off. And the powder is also super duper pretty. I love the little compact. Um, but 
The only thing about this is they kind of market it almost kind of like a translucent powder there. I don't think there's any other colors of this, but when I put it on, it does darken my foundation a little bit. So it does have a little bit of pigmentation to it. So I can only use this during the summer, but when summertime comes, I'm coming for you. So next one that I've got is the Aqua Assurance uh, Compact. Uh, this is a powdered foundation. And if you cannot tell, I really enjoy this. It is super duper nice. It gives great coverage, especially if you've got a foundation on that maybe it doesn't have the coverage that you want. You can kind of just amp it up with this. This one's an ivory, super duper pretty, um, and it's J-Cat, so it's really affordable too. So this great thing for me, because I this will probably be something that I repurchase pretty soon after I um, finish it. Um, I get, I say I will repurchase it. I'll probably work on some other powders before I repurchase this again, but there's that. Um, here's the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. This is a Tati recommendation um, as well, and it's just a very beautiful powder. Um, this one is in Creamy Neutral. So I love the powder. Um, I find it interesting they only do the mirror that tiny um, but anywho, um, it's great for, for setting underneath the, uh, under eyes. So there is that. Here's one that's sort of compact, but not really. This is the Smashbox Photo, Fish, uh, Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder in shade one. This, you actually, it's a pretty cool idea of a compact. So it's, it's a pressed powder, but you twist it and it kind of grinds it up, um, and then that is your powder. So it's kind of loose before you put it on your face. In all honesty, I had picked this up thinking it was the Halo, the new um, version kind of of this. It has the same packaging. Um, turns out it wasn't, but I am kind of excited to use this as well just to see because I am starting to try to get more and more Smashbox just because I don't have a lot of their stuff. I would like to try more. This is Extraordinary Translucent Powder by Ciate London. Um, I got this in an Ipsy. This is a very, it says translucent, but it is obviously, you can tell, it is a very white powder. Um, it makes me a little nervous using, because again, flashback. But when I have used it, it looks really, really nice. I just have to get over myself and continue to use it. Right now, this is the main one that I'm using is the Airspun, uh, Cody Airspun, um, the original formula. This is natural, naturally neutral. Um, anytime that I do get this, I take out the shifter um, just because it makes it so much easier for me to just kind of dip in and then press. Um, so, but there's always so much. I've been using this for probably like three months. Um, consistently without using any other powders and I'm only like halfway through and it's a great price so if the, if you're like new to makeup or you have a budget or anything like that this is a great powder um, this is also a little fragrant so be careful with it but if you're okay with a little fragrance this is a great powder to use um, speaking of fragrant powders this is the peach perfect this is in translucent such a pretty pretty powder. I absolutely enjoy this. Again, this is a little bit fragrant. It smells like peaches, of course. It's part of the peach line. Um, but it, it, it just looks so beautiful and so flawless. Love that. Uh, the Milk Makeup Powder I just recently got. This is also a translucent. It's translucent light. I really enjoy this. The only problem is, is it's got a net on the inside that makes it a little difficult to get the powder out. So, um, if that like were a little bit easier, I'd probably use this a little bit more, but it is still a really nice powder. I broke down and got the Huda Beauty um, powder. This is the uh, banana bread. Um, again, really beautiful powder, super duper fragrant. If fragrance causes you a headache, um, get like a skin irritating, that's probably not the powder for you, but if you love Huda, you love like just a very, very flawless powder, that is a really, really good powder for you. Um, 
another one that I've got is Fit Me. I've actually got two of these and these are both in the fair light because your girl is pasty. Um, but it's, uh, I've got two of them because my sister, she got one, um, but she doesn't wear a lot of powder. So she gifted uh, one of them to me. And this is one of my favorite powders as well, along with probably everybody else in YouTube. But that, my friend, is all of my powders and my foundations and primers and concealers. So, um, yes, a lot of makeup. We know, we know, but absolutely, it's one of my favorite drawers. I'll probably say that about the majority of these. Um, and actually, it's already <laughs> just going through one drawer. I've already talked for a very, very long time. So I am going to stop this video right here. Um, next video, we will go talk about my blushes and my bronzers. And we'll just kind of continue the video series uh, from there. Hey guys, so thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. I don't get to do this a lot, so uh, I know this is a long video. Thank you for anyone who watched all the way through. I will be very surprised if you guys did, but thank you if you did. I know a lot of people are going through a lot of hard times right now. There's a lot of uncertainty, um, a lot of frustration and anger and fear. And I totally understand that. Uh, thank goodness, for, at least for my family, because I do work in the healthcare. Um, I am a labor and delivery nurse. So I have a little bit more stability in my job right now with everything that is going on. But any other nurses who watch this understand that there are other concerns that come about at that point in time right so we're around sick people uh especially more now than ever we have a with how easily this transfers we can easily catch it and it becomes a thing where you kind of start worrying about every little thing um every little sneeze cough clearing up the throat because you're worried about not necessarily i don't think i think we kind of expect to I mean, we come into this job knowing that there are risks, but especially if you have family and loved ones and people who are immunocompromised and are at higher risk for developing a lot of issues with any of this, which I just want to sit there and say anyone can develop issues. It doesn't matter how young you are, how old you are, what type of diseases you have, how healthy you are you can still be pretty affected by this. Um, but there are people who are at higher risk for the like the likelihood of things being bad um, do increase with certain risk factors. Um, and you just don't wanna be one of those people who first off inadvertently just spreads it because we are at a higher risk of catching it. You don't wanna inadvertently bring it home to your family members um, and accidentally end up, it's not you that's hurting them, but I mean, you were a key, you were a point in a chain of events that could potentially cause harm in anyone. And anyone who does this job and loves these this job, um, that is the last thing that you want. So there's a lot more concern and anxiety and fear in different ways um, for healthcare providers and not even just healthcare providers anyone else who's working right now and is running and trying to help support and risking being out and not being able to completely self-isolate um, at this point in time and just want to let you know that I <sighs> totally understand um, it's really hard sometimes to put on a happy face and saying, hey, you know, trying to act like everything's fine. Um, but that's why I really appreciate, um, you guys on YouTube that continue doing what you're doing. 
um, people who can continue to spread positive, uh, positive energy to other people because we really need that right now. Um, just that kind of coming together and allowing people to have a place where they can just decompress and relax and not have to think about things um, for a while, you know, kind of let themselves heal mentally and physically from a hard day or, you know, issues that are going on. So I just want to let you guys know that I really appreciate you and that um, are really doing their best during this time. Um, I see you. You guys are amazing. Um, and also, I want to try to do more, even if it just means that I put a smile on somebody's face. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I promise you I won't get all gushy um, all the time, but I really appreciate it. And please, please stay safe out there. Um, I'm praying for you guys, and I will see you in the next video. All right, love you.